back to Brunette Confessions. Today we are talking skin care and specifically CeraVe products and my experience with them. So I want to say at the beginning of this year, sometime in spring around April or March, my skin was, was going through it. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I did. The skincare routine that I had been using, I was using for quite a while and I never had any bad reaction until that time period. I started getting little bumps everywhere. I'm gonna find some pictures and videos and to post this so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. And my skin was just, it was just bumpy. That's the best way to describe it. It was bumpy. It was, I don't wanna say I had breakouts or a lot of pimples, but it was more like, it wasn't a smooth, it wasn't a smooth surface. It was, it had its little bumps and it wasn't those type of bumps that you can like, or like a blackhead that you can just pop. No, it wasn't anything like that. It was, it was just the bumps. It was, it's hard to describe because I don't even know up to this day what it was or what caused that. It kind of felt like, like an allergic reaction to something, but there wasn't, the skin wasn't like, pink or red or anything like that to be like all right this is a rash you know this is something i was allergic to so it, w it wasn't like that so i don't know what it really was i never ended up going to a dermatologist to get it checked out or whatever so what i decided to do long story short because there i go rambling is i decided to just hit a reset button with my skincare stop everything that i was doing and just start something completely new completely basic and simple just to give my skin back what I thought you know it probably needed um so yeah so that's what I did so then I was I did some research and I was like I saw really good things about CeraVe products so I decided you know to try it out and since then I want to say since like March around there I have not stopped using it. I loved it. I have got a, the results have been amazing. I saw results super quick. My skin just did like a whole 360 turn. It it really went back to normal to how I wanted it and probably even better than it was at one point. So first I want to talk about the facial, the hydrating facial cleanser. This is the one that I use. Now, the best, one of the best things about CeraVe products is that it's like a drugstore brand. So you can literally find it anywhere, a good price. They have all different sizes for traveling to, and it's dermatology tested. So it's, it's quality product, okay? So this is for normal to dry skin. I'm a little bit more on the drier side, so that's that. It cleanses, hydrates, and helps restore protective skin barrier. Now, there's a few ingredients in this that makes it special, and I think one of the main ones, which is what I feel like did the most um, change to like my skin for the better, was the three essential ceramides. Now, ceramides has a lot of benefits i'm actually going to read you guys some of the things and explain a little bit more about what it is now i'm no dermatologist i am no skin like expert i do my research before i try anything new for my face so what i'm going to read offline is going to be out of google <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so let me find you guys more information um moisture balance so it has yeah the three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid so before, before one of the products that I was using before I started this was actually like hyaluronic acid and oil base too. But once, you know, if this product has it, why am I going to put more oil on top of it? Um, so yeah, so let me pull up so I can talk a little bit about what ceramides are. So it says ceramides are a class of fatty acids called lipids. They're naturally found in skin cells and make up about 50% of the outer skin layer of the skin. Now, what do they do for your skin? Ceramides are made up of a long chain fatty acids that link with other important molecules to promote cellular function. Ceramides help create a barrier to prevent permeability. This locks moisture in your skin, which helps prevent dryness and irritation. It may also help protect your epidermis from environmental damage. All right, so very scientific there. Basically, it helps lock moisture on your skin. Um, those benefits may have anti, it has anti, anti aging effects. Fine lines and wrinkles are often more noticeable when skin is dry, so locking in moisture may minimize their appearance. Um, it says, if my skin is already made up of ceramides, why should I add more to my skincare? Well, 
Although human skin is naturally made up of ceramides, these fatty acids are lost over time. So that's the kicker here. You know, we all have these ceramides in our skin already, but we lose them over time. So this can result in dual dry skin. You may be able to minimize these effects by supplementing your skin with extra ceramides. So that's you know where the products come in. And during that time period that my skin was a little bit bad too, it was a little patchy and it was pretty dry too. But even though like I would moisturize, but it still wasn't enough, okay? So that's this is probably where the ceramides were so beneficial for me. Now it says, da, 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 what skin type and condition benefits from added ceramides? It's unclear whether your skin naturally occurring ceramide levels relate to your risk of developing certain underlying skin conditions. Da, 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 da. Um, it says, ceramides containing skincare products may help soothe related irritation and provide an additional barrier to certain cases of dry skin. So that irritation part probably plays a role in what I had because remember I mentioned it was kind of like, like a rash but not red it was it was like a weird it was like a rash but not really so much as an allergy like reddish one that you're used to seeing when you normally think about a rash they play an essential role in keep in role in keeping dryness hydration and premature signs of aging at bay so yeah your face does feel very hydrating and very soft when you use the product so that's you can tell that's helping um, so yeah, so ceramides, big, big ingredient in there that I think makes such a difference, such a difference. Now, when it comes to hyaluronic acid, um, as you probably already know, hyaluronic acid is, um, it helps to like, it's a crucial role for skin moisture. So when you get it in oil form, it's very, it's very gooey, it's kind of nasty. Um, so the ones that I would use, it was the ordinary and it was, it was gooey. It's like a gooey texture. But obviously, once it's inside a product like this, like you don't get that gooiness. But it has its benefits, of course, that yeah, it helps with skin moisture. And for those with dry skin, da -da -da -da, it also helps heal wounds. So hyaluronic acid helps the skin maintain moisture and helps the tissue regeneration process involved in healing wounds. So let's say you have a pimple or something and you pop it and you want it to heal, whatever. Hyaluronic acid kind of helps that process heal faster. If you have a little scratch or something, it helps the process faster of healing. And yeah, and it soothes skin texture, anti-aging. Uh, so those are the two main main um, main ingredients in that that probably makes it why it's so beneficial. So I wash my face with this, of course, after I shower. Sometimes if I shower early, then I'll wash my face again before bed, just to make sure, you know, whatever dirt I had on my face from the environment, it's, you know, washed off. And honestly, I wash, I, I shower twice a day because I go to the gym in the morning too. So I wash my face with this as well. So basically I use it twice a day. Um, so yeah, fragrance free and da -da -da. And yeah, really recommend it, guys. I'm gonna have a link to all of this down below later so you guys can read more. Okay, so before I jump into this lotion, I wanna keep on with like nighttime skincare routines type of thing. So this is what I use now for moisturizer. This is so good. And one of the main things why I love it so much is because I'm very picky when it comes to moisturizer. I hate having like, a very thick moisturizer that feels sticky on my face and I feel like my face is gonna get stuck to the pillow and then it just feels nasty. I don't like that feeling. So this is so lightweight. When you put it, it's like very soft. Let's see if I can put some here to show you guys. It's super, super, super lightweight and it feels really nice and it, I feel like it gets the job done. That's the most important thing. It gets the job done. Your face feels very hydrated without having to feel that gooey thickness on your face you get me and and yeah so it says it's the pm so you know i feel like you could probably wear it during the day but it's meant to put it before bed um so it says moisturizers throughout the night and helps restore protective skin barrier again it has the three essential ceramides and it has hyaluronic acid this also has one more ingredient that the wash doesn't have it's a neosinamide 
I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So niacinamide or niacinamide. You guys know what I mean. So this, let me read you the benefits of this ingredient. So this ingredient um, is a form, okay, of B3, an essential nutrient. Um, it says, da -da -da. all right, so niacinamide minimizes redness and blotchiness. It reduces inflammation. So if you have acne or other inflammatory skin conditions. This will help eczema as well. Um, it minimizes poor appearance, keeping skin smooth and moisturizer moisturizer and moisturized may have a secondary benefit a natural reduction in pore size over time that is very very important regulates oil protects against sun damage treats hyperpigmentation minimizes fine lines and wrinkles um, so they, they also sell these like the oil itself i have the ordinary one but i've never tried it by itself once my skin acted up i just stopped trying different oils i just tried stopped everything and just stuck to this and i'm a creature of habit so if something works for me i am going to stick with it for a while until it doesn't work for me anymore <laughs> no i'm kidding like i like to try new products but you know your skin is a very sensitive thing and it's it's very important it's the first thing people see so you have to take care of it because it has to last you a lifetime okay so that's my thing when it comes to skincare so yeah so then this is a pm cream so i wear this every single night before bed here and then once in a while i do put let's say like vitamin c oil and then i let that sink in a little bit then i put this on top and that's all i have and all i do for my night skincare routine and i've been doing that for months now like let's say March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, like literally more than six months I've been doing this. All right, so now let's go into, before I go into the AM, which is more like SPF and stuff, CeraVe products, I do wanna to touch base on this one, the SA lotion for rough and bumpy skin. So there was so, I don't, I don't wanna say I'm allergic to the sun, but I do get a lot of sunspots and I, my skin is very, very dry in here on my arms when I get a lot of sun. So I did some research and I found a video of uh, someone doing a review on this product and how it helped her and how it helped some redness that she had here and some bumpiness. So I was like, all right, let me dry it. So I, I've been using it since then. I want to say it's been since the summer. I'll give it like three months that I've been using this. And... I don't want to say it completely he healed like my arms because it didn't but I do like to put this every night before bed it's very hydrating for my skin it definitely does feel very hydrating and when it comes to here the redness and like the smoothness I think it did help honestly I think I have a before and after picture I'm gonna look for it but I think it really did the job here like it's very nice and smooth I used to have like little bumps and it's because of the sun too I need to go to a dermatologist I think it's time <laughs> but it's gotten better everything has got my issues my issues have gotten better so that's why i haven't gone yet but god forbid they get bad again i have to go to a dermatologist um but yeah i had some bumps here and a little bit red red i don't know i think it's because of the sun or whatever this did help a lot honestly it really did help a lot and it's for that so it's rough and bumpy skin so it exfoliates and moisturizers while helping to restore the protective skin barrier again it has the three essential ceramides it has this salicylic, I can't pronounce that, salicylic, sal salicylic acid and vitamin D. Obviously, vitamin D is good. Salicylic acid is good too. I forgot what, um, what benefits it has, but I know that there's a lot of like products, skincare products or whatever that has that. So it's skin smoothing, moisturizing lotion. And yeah, so oh, it says it in the back. Salicylic acid exfoliates and softens too smooth rough skin it gets the job done i still it's still a little dry here but I, I didn't put it on last night so that's probably why i should put it on last night um but yeah it's good i recommend it all right so now we're gonna go into am products because nobody's gonna wear spf to go to bed you know so this one okay so i was a little bit iffy about this one so that's why i got the small version so i cannot try it out Guys, you gotta be smart when you buy stuff like this, like products that you wanna try. Always get a small version so you can try it first. If you like it, then you get a bigger version. But if you don't, you know, you won't feel that bad for it because first, it was probably cheap, you know, small sizes are gonna be cheaper. And second, you don't have a whole ass product 
that you're gonna throw out or give away because it didn't work for you, you get me? So, gotta think smart. So this one is the Facial Moisturizing Lotion for the morning, AM. It has sunscreen, SPF 30 of 30, so it helps you protect the sun. Of course, SPF, we all know, it's like the key to like anti-aging, anti you know, you need it. You probably won't notice that right now, but probably in the future you will. And for me specifically, SPF is important because obviously like I work out, I work in the, out in the sun a lot and I tend to get a lot of sunspots. So this protects, you know, my skin from that. Um, so again, it has moisturizers throughout the day, helps restore this protective skin barrier with the three essential ceramides, niacinamide as well, and hyaluronic acid, oil free. Now I do want to say the th what I don't like about this is the fact that you smell the sunscreen like i put it on and you smell like you're going to the beach so i don't like that i don't want people to, like get close to me and you like you smell like sunscreen it's like an not an awkward smell but like i don't know it just reminds me of the beach like when do you wear sunscreen you wear it at the beach like it just reminds me of the beach so you do smell it and it does have a hint of white a little tint so that is that's there that's what I don't like about it, but it's kind of hard to find an SPF product that doesn't do that. I guess the chemicals are just so strong that it's just inevitable. Like, it's just, it's just hard to find one without it that doesn't smell or like you can see it or whatever. So yeah, so that's what I don't like about it, but I do use it um, when I'm gonna take my dog out for a walk or before the beach or something, I throw it on. I have not used it yet as under like my foundation of for the day, like before I leave or whatever. I haven't tried it under my foundation. I don't know how the SPF is gonna like act. If it's gonna be like oily, cause it's not really oily, but I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna react under my makeup. So I have not used it under my makeup. But if you're looking for a good SPF, you know, just, just, be, just be aware that you're probably gonna smell like the beach, but CeraVe is the way to go. I'm sorry, CeraVe is the way to go. That's the point here. Now, this one, this is for your skin as well, SPF 30. So I carry this around in my work bag when I'm gonna be out in the sun since I mentioned that I have like kind of like a skin, a skin, I have a skin dilemma with my arms and I get a lot of bumps and stuff and rashes when I get too much sun. This helps and I have a lot of sunspots too, you can kind of see them. So this is what I um, started using and carrying around so I can throw it in on. Again, it smells like SPF. Okay, yep, smells like SPF. You can kind of see like the thickness of the white. It's very, very thick. So when you put it on, it's gonna look ghosty. You're gonna look like a little ghost because you're gonna have that tint of white. I do rub it in a lot, but it's still gonna have that tint of white. So that's what I do not like about it. But I don't know what to say. It's, it's just CeraVe, I trust CeraVe. They've changed my face around, so I'm gonna trust them with my body too. <laughs> so I just trust them. Um, so yeah, it says lightweight, non-greasy feel. Yeah, that is true. Three essential ceramides as well. Mineral sunscreen. Hydrating sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF. So yeah, if you need an SPF and one to trust to get the job done, CeraVe is the one. I do want to mention this this video is not sponsored by CeraVe. It would be nice, but it's not. I'm just talking about my pure experience so far and why I trust it. Honestly, since they changed my face, changed my face, since it helped out my face so much, I just I just trust them for everything now because I guess I'm a very trusting person. Um, yeah. So I hope this video was helpful. Again. If you have, if you're battling or dealing with some, you know, skincare issues and you don't have time or something to go to a dermatologist, try to hit a reset button with some basic skincare products and hopefully, you know, it works. I mean, it, it worked for me. Maybe it can work for you. Just try that out. And so, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to link all the products down below. If you guys want to check it out and read a little bit more about them, I'll probably link some research and stuff about the ceramides and hyaluronic acid and all of that good stuff down below too. Don't forget yeah. to comment, like, subscribe, 
and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!